Uh, speaking of someone that's always right in the action, Patrick Littles <laughs> with Ironworks. Pat, what do we got today, bud? Oh, I'll tell you what, Ben. I worked up quite an appetite with all this talk about politics this morning. This is Kevin Duffney from the Ironworks Tavern making his debut on the road show. Hey. Welcome to the show. Thank you very nice much. Nice to meet you. Glad to have nice you. To We're going to have uh, stuffed pumpkin with... I always pronounce this wrong. S saffron? Saffron cream, yes. Practicing all morning. So tell me a little bit about the dish. Well, it's a quintessential autumn dish. It's uh, pumpkin stuffed with sun-dried cranberries, bay scallops, baby spinach, uh, focaccia croutons, and a brown sugar butter. Very nice um, seasonal thing. Finished off with a nice yellow saffron cream. So you, you cook, well, what do you do with the scallops? You, you cook, you boil them, what do you do with them? Fry them, cook them? Well, I bake off the pumpkin. Bake them. Hollow it out. Okay. And then I saute the scallops in with uh, all the other ingredients and stuff it inside. So you're that's actually great. putting this, it finishes inside a pumpkin. It does. And that's what you eat out of, like a bowl, like it's a bowl of soup. Exactly. No kidding. It's a beautiful thing. Uh, tell me a little bit about Ironworks Tavern. It's on Jefferson Boulevard, you said. Uh, it talk is. about some of the more popular items on your menu. Well, um, some of the things that we have that are, are really Good sellers. There's a lot of seafood, a lot of uh, regional cuisine, a lot of Italian cuisine. Um, we have great steaks, cowboy chops, bone-in sirloin. Uh, a lot of great stuff on the menu. Great fresh seafood. A little bit of everything. All right. I cannot wait to eat scallops out of a pumpkin. <laughs> That's definitely a first for me. Not only <laughs> on live television, but in my life. So, uh, Kevin, thanks for joining us this morning. You can find the recipe and the ingredients online. We're cooking with Ironworks Tavern this morning on the road show. More from the kitchen in a bit, but for now, back to you. I'm going to send that over to Lily, who's making a stuffed pumpkin. Sounds good, Lil. I am, and now uh, now all of America knows that okay. as well. Okay. Oh, do they really? Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. I do prefer to look okay. at it my camera. <laughs> <laughs> Chef Bill Andrews is here in the kitchen with me this morning. We're talking about my favorite word in the English language, which is brunch. And uh, I love brunch, but what is particularly difficult to do around here sometimes is to find a place that has a Saturday brunch. And you guys both have a Saturday and a Sunday brunch. That's right. We have a Saturday brunch and Sunday brunch from uh, 10 a.m. to 2.30 in the afternoon. Um, we are not a buffet. People think okay. that brunch is a buffet. We are an a la carte brunch, okay. uh, which I Listen, find... so good. Do you have mimosas? <clears throat> we have mimosas well, and Bloody I'm Marys. Um, <laughs> and we also have bellinis. Um, but I find that... Um, because it's a la carte, the quality is is much higher. Yeah. You can keep the value uh, really uh, cost conscious for the consumer. So uh, what I've done is uh, executed the things that I did at Leon's on the West Side. I brought some of the signature items that I had there, like uh, banana forces, French toast. We have Ooh. a couple of we have a couple of signature uh, Benedicts. Um, we have I a love salmon Benedict. a salmon Except Florentine. For Benedict Arnold. Don't like yeah, him, yeah, but I'm all a other, Yeah, all yeah, other yeah, Benedicts he's, he's are a very good. Coat, so. <laughs> we don't have that. I'm going to have to make a Benedict Arnold now. Okay? <laughs> You know what I also think is good about that is uh, I often make the mistake of having like an eggs benedict followed by a penny all vodka and then oh. back to the bacon. Oh jeez. Yeah, not uh, such a good idea. Uh, so at least with an a la carte menu, you kind of you know get to focus on right. what you're going to eat. Yes. That's and awesome. I and what what is in this uh, this Foster this uh, the banana Foster's banana Foster? is a, a, a take on the um, the traditional Louisiana banana Foster's right. where you flambe. It. Right. What I do is I took all the ingredients f for to make the sauce, which has rum, I use banana liqueur, some uh, Does that sound cream de what? cocoa, some orange juice, and reduce it down, okay, hit it with a little bit of butter, okay, and then that goes over cinnamon swirl French toast from, uh, from daily bread. Well, I tell you what, you also said one of my favorite French words, which is flambe. So yeah. for now, we're going we're gonna to start cooking in just a second, uh, but we'll throw it over to you. All right, Ironworks Tavern joining us on the road show this morning, and uh, we've, I've been told to be, be like be nimble. Yeah, be ready, be ready to cover eyebrows. the eyebrows. Because apparently we're going to have some uh, a little fireworks display here in the kitchen. Is that true? A little true? bit. A little bit. All right, yeah. what, do you, what do you got? Is this when it happens? Wait for it. Wait okay. for it. All right. So the stuffed pumpkin. Okay, we're going to start off by uh, Burning getting the, the stuffing down. going. Oh, come on! Don't be afraid. <laughs> Professionals here. A little bit of oil. Going to take some of the uh, pumpkin that we scooped out of the middle. Throw that in there to cook, along with some sun-dried cranberries. So far, All right, no hazards. so far, no fire. A little brown sugar in there. What is that, a half a cup about? Yeah, about that. Right. For a pumpkin or two. I would eat, I would eat that right there. I'm looking at this right here. Right? That's what I'm saying. Right? I, mean, I would yeah. just eat that. Just but wait, there's more. Is All right, wait. Okay. Ready? Yeah. That's not so bad. Okay. Woo! Okay, there, there you is. go. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Why does everybody always light things that? on fire? What'd you put in there? This fire is fun. That's a little uh, <laughs> Captain Morgan rum. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Give it that uh, little spice flavor. That's right. great for the autumn. I'm like... Put a little butter in there. Just a little bit. It's about four just, or five pounds of butter. Just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and 
and then some breadcrumbs, bread which I already tasted. Delicious. Thanks. Now we're gonna. Now, do you recommend color. people uh, do the flambe situation in their own home kitchens? Well, it's tough to do. A lot of people have the electric stoves, in which case, if you really wanted to do it, you'd have to have a lighter up to it. Okay. You know, it's a little bit uh, a personal preference. All right. We just don't want. Uh, East Providence Fire coming yeah. over here this morning. If but they're watching, they're probably just like, be very careful. What is going? Go Do they have a permit for that dish? <laughs> <laughs> so did you just throw in the baby spinach? Or? I did. Okay, a little bit of baby spinach. A little bit of baby spinach. A little pinch of apple pie spice. Ooh. Ooh. Two pinches of that. Two pinches of the apple pie spice. Yeah. yeah we like that. Okay. Good. Good call we'll on that. The recipe <laughs> yes. And then so when you go to <laughs> foxprovidence.com, <laughs> add that second pinch if you're making it for Patrick. All right. You so know, some he likes it. Nant are these Nantucket scallops? They're oh, local base scallops. Base, base scallops, scallops, okay. Yeah. So we just kind of uh, cook that until the scallops are cooked through. And that really doesn't take long at all. No, it doesn't. Now, at the same time, that'll all kind of like get congealed and It'll yummy and delicious, enough, right? The bread will absorb all that. Now, I have a very sauce. important job to do because you can't stuff a pumpkin without having a pumpkin. Unless you're really good. All right. Well, <laughs> yes. And I haven't yes. figured out how to do it, though. So show me how we're going to do this because you guys already roasted these. Yes. And uh, just tell me again how long this had to go in. Um, just make sure the pumpkin's clean, wash it off, mm -hmm. make sure it's real nice, a little bit of oil in the oven, 425 for about a half hour, 45 minutes. And these are sh sugar pumpkins, which are actually a sweeter variety. Yes, they are. And so now I'm going to just kind of lop off the lid here. Yep, just cut it straight down. Okay, just like this. There you go. Can you eat the pumpkin after you're done with the, like the, you know, oh, the scallop? It's part of the thing, right? Yeah. Actually, take a spoon and I scoop out all the seeds. All right, let me give that a whirl. And then so I'll uh, take out about half of the flesh out of it, dice it up, and that's what you saw inside the middle oh, okay. here. Oh, okay. Now, right. you, these seeds, do you ever use them for to make, um, you know, dried pumpkin seeds or I anything do. like that? I do. Actually, um, I do that and I use them as a garnish on this dish. Oh, very nice. Do and sugar pumpkin seeds taste better than the regular pumpkin hmm. seeds? I like them a little bit better. Yeah. Do you really? They're smaller. The bigger they are, they Where tend are they? to get a little tough. I'll tell you. Now, here's the, um, here's the thing. How do you do these pumpkin seeds? You just lay them yep. out on a baking sheet? Well, I got a, a little, little trick that if you have, um, you know, the cooling racks for cookies, mm -hmm. if you take the seeds and you kind of rub them through, they'll catch all of that stringy stuff. Ah, and then they'll just the right goop. The, seeds. the yeah. goop be gone for so the pumpkins. Yeah. How are you doing over there? Nice I, you list. know, it looks like a pumpkin massacre <laughs> over here. I'm not going to lie. It looks like Halloween gone bad. Oh, you're doing perfect. All right. It's all on the inside anyway. That's true. All right. All right. So we'll just pretend that that's done and that it is beautiful. And that's how we do that, by covering it up. Or we do it like this. Or we can or we see it the like professional way. <laughs> we're just going to take this. This is probably enough for two or three pumpkins, but it's always nice to have a little extra. Oh, that looks delicious. Well, you don't have to cook those very long. Flavor. Yeah, no. no, there's, well, you know, worst thing you can do is overcook seafood, so we'd rather have it be a little bit under than a little bit over. I have to admit We'll put it back in the oven so it'll continue off in there. This is really, um, and I know we have a finished one in the oven, which we'll take out right now, which I, what I love about this is it's a really simple recipe, but it's a great way to impress your guests maybe for Thanksgiving who are coming over or for any of the holidays. Yeah, it's great. You can also do it if you have a big crowd coming, get a big pumpkin, use it as a nice centerpiece on the table. Oh, yeah. It'll stay warm for a few hours, so you can... Oh, uh, knocked off the top there. All right, let me give this a whirl. Whirl it. What do you got? Oh, my gosh. I got two scallops. That is so good. Is that against the rules? No, two scallops? No, <laughs> means are good. Delicious. Right? Yeah, it has that little... Um, it's some, I don't like want to say it's like a dessert, but it's no, got but like it's a, got a little, little sweetness that to apple it. sweetness yeah. to yeah, it. Yeah, I love that. I well mean, done, ma'am. Thank you very much. Thanks so much for coming in this morning. And I have I to say, Works Tavern. Yeah, and a perfect dish on a cold fall day. Comfort mm -hmm. food. Yeah, yeah I keep going. It's cold out, I'm right? comforted. It's still cold out, right, Michelle? It's